Good evening, uh, people who are watching us in front of camera. So again, we are here with my two Berlin students. So our first guest is Mr. Bilal John, and another guest is Mr. Ibrahim. Yes. So I hope today we will have a great time with my two students. So uh, Bilal John, can you introduce yourself? Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My full name is Bilal John Eryashev. I am a 70 years old. I have a I have been applicant uh, since March. Uh -huh. and I'm a kind of person who like uh, who take a risk here, uh -huh. and uh, I like to challenges uh -huh. and new challenges. Uh -huh. Okay, thank yeah. you. What about you, Ibrahim? Can you hello you? our subscribers? <coughs> my name is my full name is Ibrahim Ergasov, and I'm a 70 years old, and I'm a student of Target International School, and. And I was born in Tashkent and I have been living here since my birth and I'm a very ambitious person and I don't afraid to take a risk. Okay. That's so. Thank you very much. So, uh, Blog, how long have you been learning English? I have been learning English approximately 11 months. Uh -huh. 11 months. Okay, what about you? Uh, I have been studying here since September. I see. September. Okay. September. So, uh, John, yes. why are you learning English? Uh, the primary reason why I'm learning English is that applying for a foreign university, mm -hmm. as well as learning more about business knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, uh, the books uh, are written in a language of English. Uh -huh. English, yeah. Yes, uh, yes, you are right that uh, English is the source of yes. information. So if you know the English, you can do a lot. For example, yes. as you said that most famous uh, books are written in English language. So if you know the English, it's your advantage, I guess. Yes, yes. yes. so great. Thank you. What about you? As my friend mentioned, uh, in our modern life, uh, English became an international language and majority of university like uh, Oxford, Cambridge, MIT require IELTS certificate. In order to uh, get into this university, I have to learn language, uh, English language. Uh -huh. yes. So you are learning English in the purpose of getting IELTS yes, and apply yeah. for, for yeah. top universities, yes. Uh, yes. like yes. you mentioned it, yeah? Great, thank you. So I've got a, one interesting question. Yes. What teachers should do when their students don't do homework? Oh, it's too interesting question for uh -huh. me. Uh, there are people tend to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, the second chance uh, should be given by a teacher. Then, mm -hmm. and uh, teacher explains students who don't do homework uh, consequences of their study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have a. Uh, let me say another uh, measure which uh -huh. can be solve this problem. Uh -huh. uh, as, as you know, there are a lot of uh, several uh, punishment which can be taken to punish uh, uh, students. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is reporting uh, to their parents that their children don't do homework. And in my opinion, it's the best way uh, to punish children, stud students. And, and I have, just because I have experienced this punishment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and since this period, I, I've, <clears throat> I have been doing every each homework. Yes, yeah. So we have got two really interesting ideas from my students. Uh, one of my students said the encouragement is the best way, uh, while the other said that the punishment is the key uh, for this uh, issue. Yeah. So thanks for advice, uh, Ibrahim. Next time, if you don't do homework, I will report about it yes. to your parents. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's talk about past days, uh, Bilal John. Yes. Can you remember our first lesson? Yes, I can. It was a good. Uh -huh. uh, the, fir the first lesson was conducted by you. Mm -hmm. I, she made me do tasks. Uh huh. Uh, it was a the best uh, lesson for me. 
Yes, I distinctly remember. Yeah, yes. You know, when I like saw you for the first time, it seemed that you were some kind of like lazy yeah. student. That's why yeah, I made yeah. you do some extra tasks. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. What about well, you? Certainly, yes, I can. It was really interesting. I think after your lesson, uh, I was encouraged to learn English. Uh -huh, to learn English. To learn English. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Um, so let's talk about your future plans. Yes. What are you going to do after taking IELTS? Yes. I am about to take IELTS. Uh -huh. I will t take an IELTS by by end of the next uh -huh. month. I will have. Uh -huh. uh, after taking IELTS, uh, I will apply for top university of uh -huh. America, uh, which is. Uh, MIT. Uh huh. Whoa, great. Yes. Uh huh. What about you? As I mentioned, I will apply for university, and that's because uh, abroad knowledge is the most uh, how I, is the most uh, prestigious. prestigious, and that's why I will apply for university. Uh -huh. Abroad university. So without doubt, uh, I would say that both of you deserve for top and prestigious university of yeah. USA, and I hope you will pass the entrance exam of the universities. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, Blood, yeah. why did you choose Target? It would be unfair. I don't mention it mentioned about advantages of the being student of the Target education. Uh huh. Uh, target education offers us several opportunities such as uh, high level of knowledge uh -huh. and library. Uh -huh. Library is uh, allows us uh, preparing hardly uh -huh. for IELTS test exam uh -huh. and up uh, there are qualified teachers uh -huh. in fact you. <laughs> Uh -huh. you, are hem you are approachable uh -huh. and humble. Uh -huh. and so he's just exaggerating about me. I'm not humble or <laughs> approachable. Just I'm quite strict. I should admit it. Uh, thank you. What about you, Ibrahim? Why did you choose Target? Uh, okay, the first thing that I should mention about Target International School uh, is the atmosphere. Uh, it's because when I walk here, I feel I feel that I walk in the American schools. Uh -huh. Not only atmosphere, but also uh, teachers' experience. Uh -huh. uh, there is a, there are teachers uh, who are uh, who are has a, who are have a, a foreign certificate like TIS, uh, TESOL uh -huh. uh, or uh -huh. IELTS uh -huh. uh, like this. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Bilalad and Ibrahim, for participating in our yes. speaking time. Uh, and I hope you have enjoyed uh, and we had a great yeah, time. So, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, see you, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, um, again. Uh, so, we're about to finish our conversation with my students. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.